to be here today and it's a great honor to be here with the uh, Secretary of Labor and Employment, uh, uh, Rosalinda Dimatilis uh, Baldos. Uh, it's very great to be here. I hope I didn't do too badly on that, but uh, and congratulations on your new post. I know you have uh, many years of distinguished service in the labor sector and uh, you're well respected around the world for the work you've done. And I'm very pleased to be here with our Minister of Culture, Heritage and Tourism, Flor Marcelino. And uh, Flor Marcelino is the first woman of color, first Filipino woman elected to a legislature in Canada, so you can be very proud of her. She's also the first minister uh, of Filipino background ever appointed to a cabinet in Canada. So we're very proud of her. And uh, Flor, could you just stand up and And uh, she's a pa passionate advocate for the rights of uh, immigrants coming to uh, Canada and to Manitoba. She always has fought hard for the people. I'm also joined by the member of the Legislative Assembly for Maples, which is an area that has a large number of Canadian Filipino citizens, uh, Mohinder Saran. Mohinder, <laughs> Mohinder himself is a, uh, an immigrant to Canada and he knows the struggles of uh, establishing yourself and fighting for the rights of workers in his workplace. Uh, Mohinder worked at our, one of our major uh, community colleges, Red River Community College, and always worked hard to make sure his people that he worked with were advanced and treated fairly as well. So today, uh, we sign an agreement which um, you have told us is a model agreement and uh, we're very pleased to be a model for you on the kinds of agreements we have that allow your citizens to come to our country either to establish permanent residency status or to come as uh, temporary workers with the option of becoming full-time residents. And uh, in Manitoba we have, we believe, 50 to 60,000 people of Filipino background living in our community. Uh, they started coming in the 1960s. They were in the garment workers. They have since moved on to become teachers and healthcare workers and lawyers and participate in all walks of life in Manitoba. Uh, they're, they make a tremendous contribution to the community. I, I must say they're very good basketball players as well. <laughs> and I know because I coached my son's basketball team and we lost many times to the best teams that they were being so. Uh, it's, it's all good, it just ups the level of the game for us all when you're there. And uh, in terms of culture and heritage, the Filipino community makes a tremendous contribution. Every year, we have what we call folklorama in the summer, and all the different groups that live in Manitoba display their culture and their language, and we have two pavilions from the Filipino community. And Flora and Mohinder and I visited them this summer, and they had spectacular performances, sh showing the traditions that they come from, modernizing the dances, and integrating their history, their language, and their culture with the Canadian way of life. And that's exactly what we want in this agreement. We want an integration that respects people's background and history and way of life and protects them as workers. And we have brought in le legislation that puts a high standard on the ethical treatment of workers that come to Manitoba because they're citizens, they're people. All people are deserve the same rights and dignity. And uh, when you're a working person, that's what you do every day. How you are treated every day is fundamental to how you feel about yourself. So we have put high standards in place to protect our workers. Uh, they have the full protection of our labor laws. Uh, they can become a full-time resident after six months of being a temporary worker. And uh, we know that that kind of an agreement actually makes it better for them. They don't have to pay these high fees to come to our country. Our government workers will support them to register and get through all the paperwork. And then we have a strong settlement program that allows people to get access to housing, access to good schools, and access to good support services. And Minister Marcelino was saying that after a couple of years in Manitoba, people can afford to own their own home. And when you start to own your own home, that's when you put down roots, of course, right? You have stable schools, stable home, and that's the kind of thing that we want to encourage in our province. So we're very pleased to be a model. We are delighted to work with you and your government. And it's not just about people coming and living in Manitoba. We also, in this agreement, want to see what we can do to pay you back for the privilege of having some of your citizens become Canadians. So we will work with you on education projects. I'll be visiting a school this afternoon and making a contribution there. We will work with you on training projects. Uh, we will work with you in the international fora that we participate in to advance the rights of workers. So we look forward to having a partnership with your, your country and your provinces as we go forward. And for us, it's an equal partnership. Nobody's better than the other. It's an equal partnership. We contribute to each other's well-being. And I know many of the people that come to Manitoba send resources back home. And uh, they do that on a regular basis. They make a big sacrifice to do that.